Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our final celebration assembly. Uh, some of you might be watching this at home because we will put this on onto YouTube, and some of you might be watching this at school. Uh, we're just going to start off by saying, first of all, um, how well you have done this term. Children, I am so proud of you, and I know all of the teachers are as well. I know all your parents and carers are. You've done brilliantly. Uh, you have come back into school after a long period when you weren't here and you have worked so hard. You have been so supportive of each other and uh, we are so proud of the progress you are making, um, both as people, as individuals and in the way that you're growing and also in your learning as well. You are doing superbly, so really well done and you deserve a really fun and enjoyable couple of weeks um, at home. OK, we're now just going to have a look at our house points. So we've been having a really close house point competition, haven't we, this term? Let's see this week. What have we got? Buell leading the way on 352, then Bayham, then Scotney and then Bedgebury. But what does that mean for this term? Well, let's have a look. So for this term, the whole of term two, Buell are in first place then with 2,686, then Bayham. 2,602, then Bedgebury with 2,406, and then Scotney with 2,121. And if we add all of those up, and this next slide actually is going to be a bit confusing, so I've just seen they're not in the right order how they're written down. Um, some of them are in the right place and some of the houses are not. But let's see what it looks like now for the whole of the autumn term, so term one and term two. Well, we've got in first place Buell on 4,553. And then in second place, we've got Scotney on 4,431. And then it's Bayham in third place on 4,238. And Bedgebury in 4,037. Still incredibly close, really, isn't it? When you look at um, the length of time that we've been doing this for now and all to play for. Um, let's have a look now at the Christmas quiz and see who won that. Right, well, well done all of you for participating in the Christmas quiz. First came Scotney and they got 20 house points. Then we have got Bayham um, in second place. They got 15, Bedgebury 10, Buell got 5. So really um, changed the order, didn't it? between that and our autumn term score. So well done, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that house quiz. Before we finish, because we've got a bit of a, a short act of worship today and a short celebration assembly, our special mentions, we haven't picked out individuals, but what we want to say is I want to say that message again that I said just a moment ago at the start, is that you all get a special mention. You have all deserved uh, the celebration and the credit this term for the efforts that you have put in and that you, um, I know, will continue to put in next term to your learning um, and to all that we do in school. So really um, well done. Congratulations, children, on how you are doing. And you have all a special mention this week. I know, children, that um, you've given some wonderful uh, gifts. I've seen some people have bring in for, for, uh, pair for uh, teachers and uh, teaching assistants. And um, on teachers and teaching assistants' behalf, um, just to say a huge thank you for your generosity. Um, it's very kind of you to bring in uh, anything for, for the staff and uh, I know that they really do appreciate it. So thank you very much. Also, I want to say, and I know children, you'll want to say thank you to all your teachers, teaching assistants and office staff for all the hard work that they put in um, over, the, over the year. And I want to say at the end of this 2020 uh, message, which uh, just reiterating what I've written to parents um, and to staff as well to say thank you so much for all your hard work staff uh, it's uh, just wonderful to be uh, leading such an incredible team and uh, thank you for all the efforts um, and the skill uh, resilience that you have put in over the the year and i know that uh, the whole community school community and uh, and the wider local community appreciate all that you've done um, Parents, you may be watching as well. I know children, we might want to say a huge thank you to our parents and carers at home for all the support that they've given us over this up and down year where so many things have been different to normal. Uh, it's not easy sometimes adapting to all these new things, but uh, we can take the positives out of things and make sure we make these things, uh, these make us stronger. So thank you parents and carers to all the support you've given us 
uh, in supporting and, uh, and guiding your children. Right, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas break and you've had a, a fun um, uh, last week with lots of Christmas activities and uh, you're looking forward to a few more when you're uh, at home over the next, next couple of weeks. Have a wonderful time and we really look forward to seeing you in the new year, uh, which starts 5th of January. So we look forward to seeing you then. Goodbye, everybody.